Americans tend to take electricity for granted. Throw the switch and the light always comes on. It's easy to forget that reliable electricity is not the case in much of the world. The grid is enormously complex, and in many ways it functions much the way it did when George Westinghouse and his Pittsburgh engineers designed the first systems to transmit electricity over long distances more than a century ago. Today, hundreds of utilities and thousands of suppliers are working to make the grid smarter, which in turn has the potential to make energy use more efficient. One company based right here in our region is a supplier to pretty much everybody involved. The company's called Wesco. Andy Bergdahl is Vice President Utility for Wesco International. And welcome. Good to see you. Thanks, Bill. Yeah, for folks who don't know Wesco, who may have forgotten, we probably should explain the West does relate back to Westinghouse, right? Yeah, that was a great uh, introduction. Actually, Wesco, a lot of people don't realize that Wesco stands for Westinghouse Supply Corporation. Okay. And actually, the company has roots that go back to the 20s. It was a captive distribution arm of Westinghouse. Uh, it, it spun out of Westinghouse as an independent company in 1994. 1999, we went public. And today, roughly $5 billion of annual sales are one of the eight Fortune 500 companies based here in Pittsburgh. Yeah, it's a remarkable story. It's a great yeah, story. Great old name and, and really a dynamic business today. So when you talk about a supply company, what does that mean in today's, uh, today's economy? Well, still, you know, West Coast roots are uh, electrical distribution. And today, you know, since, uh, uh, you know, through the growth, we've, we've grown you know, orders of magnitude five times since, uh, since we spun out of Westinghouse. Um, part of that through acquisition, but a lot of it organic. Today, we're the largest electrical distributor in North America, which is kind of the traditional role, still a very important part of our business. We service, uh, you know, industrial, uh, commercial contracts, utilities, part of the business that I run. Um, so we're the largest electrical distributor, but we're also the largest integrator, integrated supply su uh, service provider. Uh, in North America. That's a big, big part of our business. In addition to that, part of the diversification is we're one of three national communication products uh, distributors, and we're one of two national utility distributors. Wow. And I guess the nature of what you do for your clients has changed a lot, too, because you are managing the supply chain in some cases for some, right? Yeah, we really are. When you think about integrated supply, what that is, is it's uh, in, in its most uh, advanced state, it's really an outsourcing in some cases of in one sense, the warehousing functions. So with some of our customers, we will co-locate with them. We'll operate their warehouses for them. Uh, it may also include sourcing activities where we're managing the supply chain and their suppliers to the point where we're actually operating in a customer's purchasing system. We're actually cutting purchase orders for them. So it could be a full range of that. We can be a pure distributor where we're providing components all the way to where we're actually managing their full supply chain. All right, well, your piece of it all is utility, and we've right. been talking in our first segment about the, the revolution that's really underway in the, in the way that we transmit and distribute electricity. I mean, are you really seeing that in terms of what's going on in the utility universe? Activities to make the grid smarter uh, have been ongoing from the beginning. You know, the grid, when you think about the grid, it's 9,000 generation stations feeding power into what is 30, 300,000 miles of transmission lines servicing 160, 170 million meters out there. So it is a, an amazing complex machine. And, and in fact, uh, uh, it has been evolving. And so you're helping companies get the parts and the components and everything that they need to be able to make that transition. Yeah, every company, uh, I guess, views the smart grid through the lens of what they're, what they're providing, right? So for us, the smart grid looks like, uh, on one hand, it's, it's smart meters. Uh, and that's a very, very important uh, part of the investment, which basically will be the infrastructure to allow the consumer and the utility to have two-way communication. <laughs> that will enable dynamic pricing, which will enable their time of use pricing so that you would have the incentive to either be to conserve energy or to actually move your consumption to off-peak when, the, when there's plenty of capacity and actually rates are much lower. So that's one side of it. The other side of it is actually the efficiency of the grid itself. There's significant opportunities to reduce line loss, and there's significant opportunities to expand the capacity of the existing grid without actually building more infrastructure. So that involves lots of different kinds of components that we supply, as well as uh, projects for automating substations and automating systems, and we're involved in those projects as well. How, how much of a presence do you have here in our region? In this region, we, in addition to our headquarters, our global headquarters, and our utility group headquarters that are both based here, right, right in Station Square, 
we have one of our seven distribution centers that's based up in Warrendale, and that serves the Northeast uh, area. And we have six local branches, about 300 employees. 300. What kind of people are you, are you looking for? People? Is, is it? A you know, we had a great Q3. Uh, we're uh, the business is uh, is very strong, uh, so we are hiring locally. We've actually for uh, 2011 we've doubled. Uh, our college recruiting program. Wow. So uh, we have a uh, development program. Where we bring in uh, uh, college recruits from both graduate and undergraduate and uh, put them into a sales management training program. Mm -hmm. so. Well, good. Kids in college. We have 35 colleges and universities in the region. Company to check out Wesco International. A Andy Bergdahl, thanks so much. Appreciate the update. Thanks, Bill. Appreciate yeah. it.